Hello, this is Mrs. Collins, and today we're going to talk about your next photography project. This one is all about macro photography, and your mission is to get as close as possible to your subject with your camera or with editing. So we're going to learn what is macro photography and what kind of lens can you use for it. We're also going to learn about how focal length can affect what we see through our viewfinder. We're also going to learn a bit about the flash, filters, diffusers, and reflectors. We're going to think about how macro photography can be used and what kinds of um, jobs it could be used for. So macro photography is an extreme close-up style of photography. And usually very small objects or organisms are used in pictures of this type, such as photographers looking at insects, veins on leaves, or um, just zooming in on any kind of image or object that they find interesting. They then zoom in on it and make it larger than life. So macro photography is extreme close-up photography. It's when a photographer uses special lenses to get as close as a subject as possible. We do have some lens adapters that we can use, but there are special macro lenses you can buy to get closer to your subject. There are also some tricks we can use to help get this same style of look. So macro photography shows us details that we may not see with our naked eye. Uh, it's where the lens helps us see all the tiny details that we may ordinarily miss. Macro photography is often used in advertising, in magazines, in journal articles, in video productions, and they can also be um, used in technical or medical um, publications as well. So macro photography opens up a whole new world and style of photography for us. Your mission for this photo assignment is to get as close as your subject as possible and look at it in a unique way. You might be able to use a lens adapter to help you get closer. If you have a telephoto lens, you can use that as well. If you have just a standard lens, it's all about just getting closer to your subject and also the modes or settings that you use to get the higher level focus. There are other things to think about while you're taking photos. The first one is to look for unique compositions or, or perspectives. Use strong contrast in value. Look for interesting textures and patterns. Make sure to take special care in the quality of your focus because when you're zooming in on a really tiny thing, uh, your focus really does matter in the quality of the photograph. Your mission for this photo assignment is to take at least 10 photographs using the style of macro photography. You can use cropping and editing in Photoshop or Lightroom to help you get a more dramatic look. You will turn in at least five colored photographs and five black and white images. This time, I want you to learn about photo adjustments and truly look at the power of your images and what they look like when you adjust the color in Photoshop. The images you turn in need to be fantastic and of high quality. So you might have to take 50 photos before you get 10 great ones. The more you practice, the better you're gonna get. After you have saved your images, be sure and put them in a Google Drive folder. You'll have some checkpoints to turn in along the way. I would love to see the images you take, uh, your original photos, and then I would also like to see your 10 final edited images as well. Think differently about the objects you see every day. Sometimes all you have to do, in, do is look at them closely and zoom in in more detail to get a more dramatic effect. 
Macro photography subjects can be found anywhere and everywhere. So just look close. Check out our online classroom or the project entry document to see the link for my inspirational presentation to give you some more ideas. The grading rubric is also in there. So I cannot wait to see what you come up with and what you decide to zoom in close on. I'm here to help you and thanks for watching.